Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Marketing Tool Shed. All right, so in this series, I don't know how many videos I'm gonna make. I I'm thinking maybe about four videos, but I'm just gonna explore different communities and trying to tell you the pros and cons of these different communities. It's a lot of work running a community. I gotta be honest with you, but there's so much upside and there's so much benefit to running uh, a community. Hey, if this is your first time to this channel, please go ahead and like subscribe. You never know when I'm going to drop another tool on you that just changes the game and helps you grow your business. All right. So listen, this particular video I'm going to look at is this particular community. I'm going to look at is community by sweet dash. Now sweet dash is a CRM and it is 100% white label. If you wanted to create your entire own universe, you can definitely do that with Sweet Dash. There are some other um, tools that are out there, and I'll probably talk about those a little bit. But Sweet Dash is one you definitely want to take a look at. What we're going to concentrate on today is just their new community. They just released it, I want to say 48 hours ago. And I wanted to get in and take a good look inside and see what it does, see if I can kick the tires around and see what's going on with it. Let's go ahead and go over to my computer. Let's take a look at it. After that, in this series, I'm going to be just looking at different communities, looking at the pros and cons. But this particular one, let's take a look at Sweet Dash's new new community. Let's take a look at it. All right. So now that we're over at my desktop, the first place you want to come is, of course, these are all your main. Um, if you're familiar with Sweet Dash, you know they have uh, the menus are all to the left. You can create custom menus here. You can create even custom customized uh, icons here, but we're going to look for communities here. So this is where the communities tab is. So we're going to go into that. Now you're going to see this in most of their pages. When you see them, they're going to say, Hey, there's nothing here. You can start from scratch. Most of them, once you start building them out, they, they kind of have a recurring theme to them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a really quick community for you and kind of tell you, um, you know, we'll just do a gauge on it. You know, is it worth um, picking it up? I think right now they had, they initially had for early beta testers. I think you can, you can add the community module for $5 a month. I think then they moved to $15 a month. And I think the final price is going to be um, $20 or $25 a month. I'll let you know once I figure it out, but it's going to, it is a particular, it is a cost to add the communities to your actual overall platform, which I don't have a problem with it. I own a couple of different platforms here, um, in uh sweet dash. So let's go ahead and get into it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to create your community. Now you have the opportunity, you have the opportunity. I want to say you can build out four communities per per uh, account that you have. So you can create four different communities. Now, as I always say, even on my channel and even when I'm doing my instruction and my lectures and, and people take some of my courses is you kind of want to begin with the end in mind. I'm going to give you an idea. I'm just going to go through it really quick here. I'm not going to go through everything. I just wanted you to see, and I'm going to build it out. And I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm going to show you some of the, the, uh, the intricate details of it. But as you can see here, you can change the community icon here. You can put up your post rules here, and then you can put your community image here. And then we're going to do community name. So let me go ahead and build that out. And then um, I'll give you some other finishing points and we'll talk about it. And we'll talk about uh, some of the uh, pros and cons. And I'll just let you know if that's something that you should be interested in doing. You can actually go here and you can say, hey, do I want, this is the permission settings, which is what I really enjoy about using this white level community. Um, sweet dashes, you can set parameters, you can set limits, you can assign roles, you can assign where does a person fit. And I go over all of that. I do have a, a sweet dash boot camp that I put together. I think I may have some additional codes left so you can take that. It kind of gives you a 40,000 foot view of this actual platform and see if it's good for you or not. So there may be a link in the description for that, but you can assign ta staff, teams, you can assign roles, you can really customize it, which is really what I can appreciate about this tool. So let's go back to um, this particular community. And you may want to set one community is free, right? And then you want to may set another one that has more restrictions on it. And I have some, as I talk about communities, and I'm going to probably give you some more pros and cons, or if you'll see, I'm going to do a community breakdown 
uh, video talking about. So you may may want to um, hit the link, um, subscribe. I'm going to do a community breakdown. This is a lot of pros and cons when it comes to communities. Uh, I'm going to do an, uh, another community breakout on uh, Heartbeat and a couple of other communities that are out there. And a lot of learning management systems are adding communities. And is it worth it to do or is it worth it to explore? Because there's a lot of pros and cons with communities. And trust me, running a community it can be pretty tough. So let me go through and I'm going to go through this. I'm going to fill it out and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of come back here and kind of tell you what I liked and what I didn't like about it. All right. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So in my initial walkthrough, some of the things I figured out and some of the things I like that it does, it, it allows you the opportunity. So from right here, this is again, this is where you can create your new community, new community name. Let's take a look at what I created. We already went through that already. Let's look at the community that I built. I'm going to take a look at it here. Um, so I had everything filled out. Um, the community image is here. Now, what you're going to find out later is just because I can put a community image here doesn't mean it's going to show anywhere else or surface anywhere else. Right. And so you can delete the entire community there. This is just you can put this in there. You can't embed any inv invite videos like you can't do an introduction video to the community or anything like that. So that's I was a little disappointed in that. And this is really at the extent of what you can build. So let's go in and take a look at it. So this is how you uh, I posted a comment here and then a person could come here and they can add a reply. Right. They can do that. So that's pretty much it. You can come here. You can say, hey, you know what? Here's general here. Let me create a new post in general, right? Um, new post. I'll just put new post here in general. And then um, how did you like this video? It's a good opportunity for you to give us a thumbs up if you want us to bring more. So we'll add this or you can just add an image. I think I did add an image in one of them. So we can go there. So that is the new post here in general. And then we have one that I made in another topic called new updates, right? And so what did I put training do's and don'ts here? I did actually add a photo, wanted you to see that one that I did there. And you could, um, you can follow it or, and, or you can just give it a kudos, right? So just following kudos, we're not really a thumbs up or anything like that, which is moving away from the traditional thumbs up. You can do that. And then you can look at the different posts that you're following. I did decide to follow it, right? And then I can look at all the posts that I created, which these are the posts that I actually created. And that's it. I haven't really, the mentions or the ats when you do at Jenny Jones or something like that, but I'm the only person, as I test this out, I'm the only person part of this community. So I didn't see my ats or my mentions come up here at all. Then you click the home here. Um, so that is it. You actually get four communities so you can have a different, so this is my retirement lessons community. So from here, I can create another community and just kind of track them all from here. Now, when a person comes in, when they log into the actual ecosystem, they can come and click on communities and they can just, um, go inside the community that they're granted access to. Now for me as an admin, I have, maybe I can create four here, but you as a person registering. I may assign you one community. I'm not going to give you access to all four because you're not an admin. So if you signed up for anything, I would give you access to that one particular community. In this particular case, and the way I want to use it, and the way I want to deploy it, I think this is a worthy investment for me because I can keep, I have three different levels of people that I want to engage with. I don't want them all being commingled in one community, but it keeps it nice and compact here in this one platform. That's the only way that I would probably invest in something uh, like this community on a monthly basis because you can manage them like that. The beauty in having uh, Sweet Dash is you can actually create a community here and have it go to a separate community or you can have it go to a Facebook community or something like that. You don't have to have a community here. But what this does is the way I'm using this community, the way I'm deploying it is I'm creating a small nuclear compact group. So that's the way I'll run it from here. So um, overall, I think it's pretty good um, community. Um, let me go back to my computer. Let me give you my final thoughts. All right. So had an opportunity to look over Sweet Dash's community. And I got to tell you, 
I'm really not that impressed, although I am impressed with their overall platform. And this is probably, you know, version 1.0. I think it's a good start because they didn't have a community at all. But when I look at some of the more robust communities that are out there that have kind of been at this for two or three years already, they are miles and miles behind. But there's nothing to take away from that because I think I think sometimes when it comes to communities, less is best, right? And in this particular situation, it's not that I would not use it. They charge an additional cost for it um, per month. But to have that all included, not having a community for outside people, having a private, intimate community, I think it serves its purpose very well. It more it creates a, a channel, if you will. But in this particular instance, the way uh, Sweet Dash is kind of put together, I really actually don't see a benefit in even having a community within Sweet Dash, unless you're trying to get some things out um, for a certain uh, amount of people within your community. I still think you can manage that community very well using the circles and allowing and pointing people where you want them to, to, uh, to go. So did it help the platform by adding a community? Yes, it did. But is it giving you not as much as you want? Some of the robust features like embedding videos and sharing videos, things of that nature doesn't do that, but it still allows you to do that. And, um, doesn't allow you to tag anyone else or anything like that. But overall, um, out of a five, I'm probably going to give it out of the blocks, maybe a two and a half, maybe close to a three. It's not bad, but I just think that at this stage, I think that we should be getting a lot more from our communities, definitely in the way we want to use it. I think that we should have the opportunity to be able to, for this particular case, be, be able to recommend different courses that you have in the, in the, um, in the learning management system that you have in a platform already. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna go with on that. And we're gonna look at some more communities in this series. Make sure you hit the subscribe and make sure you hit this notification button. You never know when we're gonna do those types of uh, videos that just kind of changes your business. We're definitely gonna look at a couple more communities that you're gonna, you're gonna take a look at. There are some that are really, really good. And there are some you can make a lot of money from. All right. So this one is more of an enhancement to already what you got. I don't see anything taken away from it. I just don't. When we talk about it as an individual community on itself, I just don't think it fares well against the others. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the other two videos I have up here on the side. You guys have been great. Goodbye for now.